Hey there, it's Chris, currently speaking to you from my studio, which happens to also be our clothes closet. Pretty soon, I get to move out of here from this spot into this space. This is actually a storage closet that's adjacent to our back porch that was used to, uh, well, store stuff, of course, shelves and whatnot, and also a freezer used to be in this spot right here, in this area. And so now what we're going to do is ventilate it and get it all set up and, and put stuff on the walls, have a little desk right around here, and my microphone and all that kind of good stuff, and this will become my new recording space. So this is what it looks like right now. We just had the, the concrete floor uh, sealed, and then we're going to put some trim on along the edges there, and then I'll put a rug down. And then we're going to put, of course, all the stuff on the walls, and I'll show you that when we uh, get finished with that part. Oh, and before we leave this room, I thought I'd go ahead and shut the door and let you hear what it sounds like with all the kind of well, sounds echoing off the wall and the reason why we have to put foam on there to keep things from bouncing around. But there's a whole lot of echo in here right now. I was going to do the clap test. So we can compare it. You'll get to hear what it sounds like before and then also after. I ordered some foam and actually it's going to be looking like a checkerboard in here because some of the foam's black and some of it's red. So I'm going to do kind of a checkerboard pattern. So I think it's going to look really cool. And uh, I'll let you hear the clap test once it's all up and, and you'll see how much of a, a difference it is and why studios have to have that. Anyway, I'm pretty excited to be getting out of this space. It's really cramped in here. And I want to thank my father-in-law, Mike, for helping us financially to be able to even do this project, you know, buying the foam and, and getting all the stuff done that needs to be done to make it a studio. So thanks, Mike. Also, I want to thank you if you've donated to the station to keep the station streaming to the whole world on the web. Thank you so much for supporting us and keeping us going.